uh, we will take it as though we are now on uh, September 12th. So today is September 12th, we will take it like that. And so we will not write Jupiter here, we will write Jupiter here. Now, this will be the real position for a full one year. So right now, who is going through 7 and a half year Saturn? It is, uh, how to know where, when is 7 and a half year Saturn? There is nothing big about this. Basic astrology is 5th standard level. Okay, anybody has finished 5th standard? can easily understand uh, basic astrology. It is very simple. Wherever your moon is, one house before when Saturn enters, that is seven and a half years Saturn. In each sign, Saturn stays for two and a half years. Two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half. Twelve, one, and two. Huh? Twelve, one, and two. Yeah, twelve, one, and two. Okay? Twelve, one, and two over the moon is the seven and a half years Saturn phase. So, uh, I did a lot of research on Rotarians and I found that uh, Rotarians are not, uh, you know, really suffering so much uh, due to, you know, seven and a half years Saturn and Ashtama Shani. Most of them get uh, into big post position in Rotary and uh, they spend a great deal of time in it and finish off the bat in that itself. Okay, that's because when they work for Rotary, uh, their income diminishes because they spend a lot of money, time and effort and money in that. So it's like a sacrifice. You take care of other people. And that's how, uh, you know, it gets adjusted. So, now, Dhanush Rasi is going through seven and a half years Saturn, Vrishtika Rasi and Makara Rashi. Only three Rashis. So, once you know and understand seven and a half years Saturn or Ashtama Shani, now, for Rishabh Rasi, it will become Ashtama Shani. So, count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, that's all. And, uh, now, if you have come to a conclusion, okay, Saturn is well placed or not. It is badly placed. Saturn is well placed in 3, 6 and 11. These are the best houses. Out of 12 houses, only 3 houses, Saturn is good. So that, that is why most of our life we have a lot of anxieties and sufferings. Because 3 out of 12 times, it will be not good, well placed. Okay, but Jupiter, thank God, Every year it keeps changing and gives us a different kind of luck. I will uh, give you a rough idea. Uh, whenever Jupiter goes over your moon, it is called Janma, Shan, uh, Janma Guru. Uh, easy way to remind about this is uh, Sri Rama went to the forest in Janma Guru. That's all. Simple. So, Faladipika says departure from native place. It's not all the time bad because some of them might actually go to a foreign country. And foreign country is nowadays better than India. Some countries are, uh, you know, many countries are better than India. So, Janma Guru doesn't mean it's bad, but there is something uh, about it, some challenges, because you are leaving your family and uh, setting up another, you know, a place as your house. Okay. Yes? All countries better than India. Okay, that is the spiritual. Uh, for spiritual people, you might say that. For materialistic, you know, pursuits and other things, a lot of countries are doing better than India. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Spiritually, India is the best which is why it has attracted so many people here, right? Second house, uh, okay, for whom will it be Janma Guru? It will be for Tula Rashi. So the trouble is not over, but why I did Tula Rashi first was, at least don't worry so much about it, because you have to celebrate, because seven and a half years sadness coming to an end. Now you get this point, why I started with this. So just ignore this. We will, for whom will it be the second house? For, for Kanya Rashi. So for Kanya, if you have here, which will be your moon will be here, Kanya Rashi, Guru is coming to the second house. So congratulations for all uh, Kanya Rashi people, because Guru has come to the second house. Which means the book says that acquisition of wealth, domestic happiness and a uh, lot of happiness in family and everything, which is most important for us. So we will remove this. And uh, we'll take this one, Simarasi people. Okay, I'm a Simarasi person. Uh, it says uh, very bad. Sri Ram. Uh, okay, so it's um, very stressful time for one year. It is it is usually capable of uh, giving the maximum pressure in job, in wherever you work, business or career. Okay. Um, those who have been in a company for a very long time, they might have to, you know, shift out to another company. So, loss of job and then stress because of that. Highly stressful. Things don't happen quite uh, easily. 
uh, like how it was before. Obviously, you had Jupiter uh, well placed in the second house for a one year. Now it is time to you know get up and start working. You might have to work a uh, night shift or uh, extra hours to get problem solved. So I'm ready for it. Okay. And uh, now let's do. Uh, <coughs> Now I go backwards because I want to keep Jupiter in the same place, so counting is easy. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Is 4th those a good transit? It's not good. But life is only about comparison. Now we have AC here and then if we replace with fan, you will complain. But if there was no fan, it was very warm and then you put a fan, you would say that it's very nice now. So life is only a comparison. So it's so, so much of hard work. But when Jupiter moves over to the 4th, it is the end of the stress, the third O stress. Fourth O's, not good, but better in comparison. So what is the fourth O say? Jupiter, the fourth O's will give problems through relations, relatives, sorrow through relatives. If there is an elderly person in the family, they might, God forbid, may pass away. And uh, there will be humiliation and danger from quadrupeds. See, quadrupeds means uh, four-legged creatures. <coughs> So the problem with astrology is, astrology is written 5,000 years ago. If they say danger through four-legged creatures, it doesn't mean uh, like a bull, uh, sorry, bull or a, you know, something, yeah? It can be a vehicle. It's just something, you know, like a car or something. So, should be very careful while driving. For Mithuna Rashi, our president is Mithuna Rashi. So, he's going to have a good time from now on. Uh, subscription will come on time. Uh, he uh, already come and no, some people haven't paid the second half. So they might voluntarily come forward and pay the second half. Uh, even before the second term begins. For those who are, uh, uh, you know, waiting for a, in the birth of a child, it will be, you know, uh, the birth of a child is possible, birth of grandchildren is possible. And uh, you might get into very powerful positions, like uh, politically or, uh, you know, you want to become... Uh, some, somebody in a, a club, like Cosmopolitan Club, or, uh, you know, the Madras Club, you want to hold some position, then you will get all that. You will be in the limelight. You will be favored by the kings. The kings will appoint you. Those in Rotary might be appointed as, uh, you know, maybe conference chair, you know, those kind of things. See, the most important thing is, if Jupiter is favorable, in 2, 5, 7, 9, 11, it is enough for marriage, for children, everything. But if there is a specific thing like, uh, you know, fifth house means birth of children, it is strongly indicating that. It doesn't mean if it is second house, it will not give you, you know, possibilities for childbirth. Okay. Sixth house, trouble from enemies. Now, you have to read Jupiter transit along with the Saturn transit. Rishabharasi might get into trouble because Saturn is in the eighth house and Jupiter is in the sixth house. Both bad. Okay. So don't worry, uh, all you have to do is, uh, I've done a video on YouTube, top 8 facts about Saturn. And uh, ERA is uh, strongly oriented to 8 because E is 5, R is 2 and A is 1. So if you call our club as Rotary Club of Chennai East Harayapuram, it will not be a very successful club. But if you call it as ERA, it will be very successful. And uh, that's the reason why ERA picked up the... Uh, a project for unclaimed bodies. So these kind of uh, good work we are doing, so not to worry. But what you can do is um, do a lot of charities on Saturday and uh, try not to you know, consume alcohol on Saturdays. One of the best remedies for uh, Saturn is uh, don't enjoy life on Saturday. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So, uh, if it is in the 6th house, uh, Jupiter in the 6th house will cause problem through liver. It can cause stomach problems and uh, health problems and problem through enemies. Litigation, if there is anything, then the problem through the person who is fighting with you, all that will go up, increase. So, this is about it. And uh, now for Meshwarasi, which is here, Jupiter is in the 7th. It's a... Very nice thing, uh, you know, very nice transit because on the one hand, Saturn's Ashtamashan is getting over. So they will find a very big relief, all Meshwarasi person. Okay? So you know anybody, you know, 
who made it big in Rotary from ERA, anybody, Meshrasi? The governor. Oh, okay. So he's going to find a lot of relief. So, so far he's been for two and a half years in what is called Ashtamashani. Okay? Uh, we have, uh, for Mesha it is definitely a good time because uh, Jupiter comes to 7th. And in 7th house, a uh, lot of journeys for auspicious work. You will meet a lot of interesting people, happiness through wife and happiness through children. Unmarried people, most probably they can get married. Um, those who are looking for expanding business, they can expand business most probably by joining up with other people like partners. So we will quickly move on to, uh, this is what? What sign? Mesham. No, Mesham we just finished. Mesham. This is Meena. Mesham. One minus Mesham is Meena. So Meena Rashi people, you have the moon here. What are the three stars in Meena Rashi? You have Puratadi, Uttaratadi and Revati. So it is Pura Bhadra and uh, Uttara Bhadra and Revati. So for them, Jupiter is in the uh, eighth house. Okay, not good. And uh, Saturn is in the tenth house. That's also not good. But there is a uh, very interesting rule about tenth house Saturn. There is something called tenet of uh, Saturn, meaning that if Saturn just crosses halfway through ten, it will get actually very good. So it's going towards that. But uh, the Jupiter transit is not good. It's a lot of tiresome journeys and sometimes, uh, God forbid, uh, visits to the hospitals is possible uh, because Jupiter, uh, Jupiter is in the eighth for uh, uh, Milarashi people. There might be loss of wealth also. Then we'll uh, move on to Kumbarashi. Now this uh, people definitely receive, uh, should receive a full round of applause. Kumbarashi. Can you say what is the best thing about Kumbarashi as far as this transit goes? See, did you notice that I have written here Saturn in the 11th is very good? So, we have to always give importance to this. Uh, in this, for uh, Karkataka Rashi, Jupiter, Saturn is in the 6th house. See, this is one good house. And uh, for Tula Rashi, it is third, which is why I started with Tula Rashi. And then, this is Kumbarashi. Okay? In 11th, it is extremely favorable for Kumbarashi person because Jupiter is also in the 9th house. In the 9th house, all round prosperity, just one word. Faladipika just describes it as all round prosperity, don't ask any questions. So now let's move on to uh, Makara. So what are the nakshatras of Makara? Uttrashada, which is Uttradam and uh, Tiruvonam, which is Shravana, and uh, Dhanishtra, which is Avitam. So, three nakshatras are there. So, Jupiter is in the 10th house. So, even the temple priest knows that if Jupiter comes to the 10th house, there will be problem in the profession. Positions. Uh, they might lose their positions. It's a very common result. And there will be a uh, lot of stress if uh, Jupiter is in the 10th house. It's very important for Makara Rashi because Makara Rashi is already going through seven and a half years Saturn. Because you see Saturn is very close to the moon. So these people should do all the remedies maximum. And then we come to Dhanush Rashi itself. Dhanush Rashi, despite going through a seven and a half years Saturn, Jupiter in the 11th will protect them for one full year. Okay, that's a nice advantage. So, in the 11th house, uh, Jupiter will give a, a relief, uh, a silver lining in the dark cloud, uh, which is caused by sound of your Saturn. And the last one is Vrishika. You can easily make out that it is not good because uh, Jupiter is in uh, not, not in any good house, but it is in the 12th and it is already seven and a half years Saturn. So, this is how you do it. Is it very difficult to follow this? <coughs> So you don't have to go to an astrologer to you know understand these things. All you have to do is just draw and find out where Saturn and Jupiter is right now, and take uh, you know just Google search the favorable houses. There are some complexities. Uh, I don't want to discuss all that in this session. We'll quickly move on to question and answer. See, first of all, there is nothing called uh, Pongusani, Mangusani, and all that. See, uh, Saturn uh, Saturn moves uh, from uh, one sign to another, or uh, completes one cycle in 30 years. 
So somebody who's born with seven and a half year Saturn will have Saturn at the beginning of their life. 30 years later, they will have the second round. And 60th year, they will have the third round. And if they live till 90 years, they will have the fourth round also. So actually, they can go to five rounds. Most probably, Kalanjar is one, one example. So it's not true. Uh, but if you want to know what is the logic, I did a lot of homework on this. The logic for all this Pongusani concept is people wanted encouragement. And when will Pongusani happen? It will happen always in the youth. So when a, a very uh, you know enthusiastic uh, fellow goes to the astrologer, he will not say this is a tough time. And uh, our description of Saturn of your Saturn itself is wrong. Um, if you ask Ashwin during exams, was he relaxed or not relaxed? Not relaxed. Correct? But what is the result? The result is pass. So what happens in seven and a half year Saturn is, those who lack discipline, those who don't have certain methods of living, when they make mistakes, only they get into trouble in seven and a half year Saturn. Corrupted, corruption. So if you study well, the exam will actually give a pass mark. So it so happened that one day a man came to me and said, uh, for consultation, he was um, a Kanyarashi person, that's happened many years before. And uh, I told him that you're going through seven and a half years Saturn for the last two and a half years. He said, sir, in Tamil, what is it? He said, I'm jobless for two and a half years. So I, I gave him all remedies. I looked at his dasha, antar dasha and read the chart, everything fine. After that, I closed the book and then asked him, how can you be without a job for two and a half years? And he said, that's what you, you told from your horoscope. I said, that's fine. It just says challenging time. But what did you do with it? No, sir, I'm not going to say that. I went to an astrologer. He looked at my chart and said, your seven and a half year Saturn is going to start. And from now on, in Tamil, you will not be so exactly as, as is indicated by seven and a half years Saturn, he lost his job. When he lost his job, he, he fully accepted what the astrologer said and refused to go for a job. He fulfilled that condition in a different way. But how should you fulfill seven and a half years Saturn phase? Work very hard during that time. No enjoyments. If you do that, whatever Saturn wants, you are doing, and that's what it wants, that's all. So, in many a case, you will find that sound of your Saturn, uh, you know, actually turns out good. But as the person goes through the exam time, nobody enjoys life. But after the exam, which is when sound of your Saturn is over, suddenly they will find a big, you know, something like an award coming in their life. That's because all these seven and a half years, they work very hard and did not enjoy life. So that's how it changes. So not knowing this, people had to, you know, tell them Pungusani and all that. Actually, if you start doing a research, you will never find this true. Everybody is going through an exam time. There is nothing called this exam is easy for you. It is always tough. Saturn's exam is always tough. That's all. So Pungusani, it is not in ancient classical textbooks. Uh, over the years, astrologers told many things to support the client. Children's chart will not help, but wife's cha uh, chart will help. Brihad Parashara Varashastra Maharshi Parashara says that uh, the only time when you actually share karma is only between husband and wife. So, in, in Tamil Nadu at least they will say, in the payam parandadaka prana yenge in the trouble vandadu. It actually never happens like that. After marriage, your fate can get altered because you married this type of person. If you marry A, you will get this result. If you marry B, you will get this result. See, I have been uh, watching your video. Okay. You are saying when positive is a But you will get a little bit of a situation. They say this particular Jupiter is a little we have come to the end of this video. In case you have any doubts, please type them out in the comment section. 
and whenever I find the time, I'll answer them for you. And see you soon in my next video.